Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In Anime Studio, you can easily import poser scenes into your project files. Now, for those of you who don't know, Poser is a 3D animation and character creation software produced by Smith Micro. So it makes things easy when it comes to, for instance, bringing project files from Poser over to Anime Studio. First, in order to do this, you'll need to go into Anime Studio and go to Anime Studio and then Preferences. Now, you'll see at the bottom of your Preferences is a Poser Location button. You'll want to click this and then browse to the application that you have on your computer for Poser. Just clicking the folder will work and then hit choose and then it should find the application within that folder. If you don't have Poser, you won't be able to do this because when you import a Poser scene, it will say you need to either find the application or put the serial number in for it. So just so you know, you will need a copy in order to do this. So once you have that set, we could go up to File, Import, Poser Scene. Browse here for some files. And in this case, I have some right here. You can see they are labeled as .pz3. That is a Poser Scene file. So what you could do it's just, well, let's click on both of these. Highlight both of them and then hit open. So now you'll notice that on your layers, you have some 3D looking objects displayed in your layers panel. You double click, you have some different things you can do here like you could with any layer. You have 3D options as well. You can see they're already set because they are of course 3D objects to begin with. But in this case, for these, in order to view them, you'll need to go into orbit mode on your workspace. So just click orbit, and then you can go in here and you can see what they look like. Now, this will vary from object to object. In this case, this is just how this one works. But as you can see, they have different particles flying around here. And basically, there's a lot of depth going on here with these. And so it could be kind of difficult to pinpoint every single object that's going on unless if you were to go into orbit mode. So that's just something to keep in mind. So that's pretty easy. But what if you wanted to import an object that you are working on in Poser? How do you go from step A to step B with that? Well, let's open up Poser here really quick. You can see we have Andy here just hanging out. And let's just do some simple stuff. We'll just kind of move him like this. Maybe move it up like that. And I'm not even really sure um, what we're doing here exactly with him. Maybe he's dancing or he's about to fall. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, as you can see, we can do some things pretty uh, quickly and easily in Poser itself. So we'll just do something like this. And we can then go to File and then Save or Save As and I can go in here to my folder. You can see I already did a couple tests here, but we'll just name this one Andy Falling, and then click Save. So now, coming back here to Anime Studio, we can go up to File, Import, Poser Scene, find the Andy Falling pose, and then click Open. You can see now he's on screen, and we could zoom in here just to get a better view of the action. And you'll notice now you have a special tool on your toolbar called Poser. So if you click this, you can click on any of these limbs or sections of the model. And you can see here as we do this on the top bar, it's indicating what we're currently selecting. Head, neck, and so on. Now, if you want to actually manipulate these areas, you'll want to go up to Window, Poser Parameters. This may appear automatically for you when you import a Poser object, but 
most of the time you're going to have to bring it in yourself. So now I could click on, for instance, the right shoulder and I could twist it. You can see as I'm doing this, it's twisting, you know, back to front and so many other things down here with scaling and so forth and translating. So what we could do even now is let's go to frame 48 and I can twist and I can go like this and maybe just like this. So I could page back and you can see now it animates out. So it's really nice because it works similar to how you would animate out anything in Anime Studio. You just kind of go into the timeline, you just start placing down your keyframes and before you know it, you have movement. So working with Poser is pretty simple and it can be really powerful and add a lot to your animations in Anime Studio. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching guys and we will see you next time.